Hi, good afternoon. My name's Simon Hayter and welcome to another online tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing an issue with uh, vSphere ESXi server and client in regards of not being able to change the hardware settings. So I'm going to quickly uh, replicate uh, the error. So hopefully it's the same error you're getting and hopefully we can get those problems resolved for you. So uh, right click the virtual machine or click in edit settings and I'm greeted with this message here. You cannot use the v, v, uh, vSphere client to edit the settings of virtual machines of version 10 or higher. Use the vSphere web client to edit the settings of this virtual machine. Now for... Um, I believe that you can't use the web client uh, if you're using the free version um, or you could download if you have got the enterprise version uh, you could download uh, the web client and change it that way however I have found another way around it uh, by converting the image and I'll show you how to do that now so you want to download um, the VM where V center converter standalone uh, grab that and download it and install it. Uh, I believe it doesn't require a license. The first thing you want to do is load it up, click convert machine, make sure you're on VMware infrastructure virtual machine, type in the server address, uh, either IP or domain name, type in your username and password, which is the administration rights for the for uh, ESXi. Click next, click the virtual machine you need to convert, Click next to game. Now you can uh, pull it into workstation or you can pull it back to the server. So basically what we're doing is we need to make a copy um, and basically uh, convert it and then upload it again. So you are going to have a duplicate machine um, but obviously you just delete the one you can't edit. So I'm going to type in exactly the same details as I had before. Now this wants to specify a new name, so make sure you do give it a new name. I'm going to put converted, click next, uh, virtual machine version, make sure you use version 8, click next, change any settings you require, I don't, so I'm going to click next. Here's the summary of the report, what it's doing, click finish. And now it's basically submitting the job to the task list. You can see up here uh, estimated time remaining, one hour. Um, it is a lot quicker than that. Obviously, I am recording on. Uh, I'm recording this video, so that's um, putting my hard drive to work. Um, so it it takes about 10 minutes normally. It depends how big uh, the virtual machine is. Obviously, if we're talking a few terabytes or or you know a few hundred gigabytes then it is going to take uh, a rather long time however it will s solve your problem which I'll show you in a moment so I believe it does it, down here it says average transfer rate which will make me to believe that the conversion doesn't actually take place um, on the server it's uh, actually done on the client which is as you can see I'm in Windows so I believe it copies the the virtual machine to the Windows machine or the client so to speak uh, converts it and then uploads it back as a as a new virtual machine it will be done in a moment it does say 50 minutes normally it gets to about 6% and uh, it jumps up all the way to completed Yeah, so if I actually click, a, I actually did this earlier, so if I click a job I did before, you can see start time, it actually took two minutes earlier, and there we go, it's completed. So the, the estimation of time is actually diabolical, it's nowhere near correct. So as you can see, I've got the old uh, virtual machine up here, and I've got the new one here. So if I right click the new one, bingo there you can see I can now adjust all the settings that I want to change so I can increase the RAM or do whatever you want to do I hope the tutorial is helpful to you and I'll see you soon bye bye